Roseanne Barr is a legendary comedian and sitcom star whose self-titled show was a monster hit in the 90s. And despite having a rather large and sometimes abrasive personality, Barr managed to carve out an impressive career with a ton of impressive work and millions of fans. And yet, she ultimately won't be remembered in a good light by many people. This is because Roseanne's actions in recent years have basically ruined her career and legacy. Join Facts First as we present Roseanne Barr will never work again after what she did. Barr's awful rendition of the national anthem. In 1990, Roseanne decided to take comedic aim at the national anthem to disastrous results. She was tasked with singing it before a San Diego Padres baseball game on July 25th of that year. While we aren't sure how she got hired for the gig, we're pretty sure she didn't audition, because it's safe to assume that the powers that be at the Padres organization would never have hired her if she had auditioned. Because as Barr sang the anthem to the crowd at Jack Murphy Stadium, it was quickly apparent she had either no ability to sing or had decided not to use it at all, because Roseanne's rendition of the venerable song was pitchy to say the least. It was most likely Barr was trying to lean into a comic rendition thinking it would get laughs, but instead all it got was groans. As Roseanne progressed further into the song, her performance only got worse, prompting boos from all over the stadium. She capped off the performance by trying to make a joke reference to the behavior of baseball players, spitting on the ground and pretending to grab her protective cup. And while these are two actions that were traditionally associated with major league ballplayers, they were not known for doing it during the national anthem. The boos roared throughout the stadium, and Barr knew her joke had fell incredibly flat. That week, President Bush referred to it as disgraceful. And as we know from more recent years, many Americans tend to be quite sensitive when it comes to actions related to the national anthem. Barr reportedly got so many threats against her afterwards, she needed protection from the LAPD for a couple of years. For her part, Roseanne claimed she was was trying to be funny, which as a comic shouldn't be super surprising to anyone. And yet there are ways to be funny and push the envelope that don't involve mangling a time-honored tradition. Barr somewhat brushed off the whole incident, claiming she must have been quote, too hip for the room. Barr posed as Hitler. It appears the national anthem wasn't the only time when Barr's controversies have come from times she was intending to be funny and provocative. In 2009, she did a photo shoot for Heeb magazine, and things didn't go well. For some reason, Barr and the editors of this website aimed at young Jews decided that dressing her up in Nazi attire would be a funny and subversive act. They had her dressed as Adolf Hitler, and in the photos, she was taking, quote, Jew cookies out of an oven that were completely burned. Needless to say, this sparked a backlash. It was derided for being toned deaf, insensitive, and generally in bad taste. In fairness to Barr, he was a humor publication, so it wasn't a situation where she was supposed to be taking things seriously, and she decided not to. According to the publisher, they were trying to be edgy and funny, and explore the boundaries of making jokes about a sensitive topic. Specifically, they were trying to gauge whether or not the taboo of making Nazi jokes was as strong as it once was. In other words, they were trying to see if it was still too soon, and in this case, it clearly was, or at least the style and nature of this so-called joke was too insensitive for people to really find funny. The magazine issued a full-throated apology for the incident. Before we tell you more, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Ever wish you could earn points on every purchase instead of signing up for so many reward programs? Well, with Fetch, you can. Fetch is a super easy to use free app where you earn free rewards on literally anything you buy. Scan any physical receipt or e-receipt and you will earn points for every purchase. The purchase doesn't need to be on specific brands or items. Scan any purchase. Even if you have receipts that are up to two weeks old, you can scan them and start earning points. After you scan, you can redeem those points for hundreds of rewards, including Amazon, Visa, Starbucks, GameStop, and Walmart gift cards. Fetch is 100% free and so easy to use. Check out the link in the description, download the app now, and use the code FAXVERSE to get 5,000 points when you scan your first receipt. This is a limited time offer for FAXVERSE viewers, so be sure to check it out now. She attacked school shooting survivor and activist David Hogg. It appears Nazis are a topic that doesn't stray too far from Barr's mind. In 2018, David Hogg posted a photo where he had his fist raised in the air as an act of defiance towards gun violence. Hogg was one of many students who survived the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School shooting in Parkland, Florida that year. 
He quickly became the face of an anti-gun and gun violence movement that intensified after the event. And yet, he's been the subject of many bizarre and unfounded conspiracy theories because of it. Hogg's prominence as an activist and shooting survivor has made him a famous public figure. Yet, there are conspiracy theorists who have falsely accused him and other students of being so-called crisis actors, claiming the shooting wasn't real and that it was staged as a means to drum up support for gun control. These kinds of insane and untrue theories have sprung up in recent years more and more, as school shootings have only increased. Roseanne Barr has increasingly become enamored of the world of conspiracy theories, and she added fuel to the fire when she posted a tweet commenting on a photo of Hogg. She claimed his fist in the air pose was actually a Nazi salute. Of course, this was the furthest thing from the truth, as Hogg was merely trying to convey strength and compassion with his fist in the air post. Barr's tweet was widely criticized by celebrities and others and was quickly deleted, but not before users grabbed screenshots of it. Barr's tweet about Valerie Jarrett Barr's career may have gone off the rails for good in May of 2018, when she posted a racist and controversial tweet aimed at former Obama administration official Valerie Jarrett. One night, Barr read a tweet that claimed Jarrett was trying to cover up bad actions by the Obama administration. The tweet was someone's opinion and wasn't necessarily backed up with any evidence. Barr responded to the tweet by writing, quote, Muslim Brotherhood and Planet of the Apes had a baby equals BJ. It was readily apparent to anyone reading the tweet that the VJ she referenced was Valerie Jarrett. It was a bizarre and blatantly racist attack on Jarrett, and it quickly went viral. Jarrett is an African American who was born in Iran, so Barr's racism included both of these facets. She was trying to link Jarrett with an extremist Islamic group and with the racist trope of linking black people with apes. It was a truly disgusting statement by Barr. She gave a half-hearted apology at first, claiming that, quote, Muslims are not a race. But as the backlash increased, she gave a more detailed apology statement, claiming it was a joke, but that it went too far. But the damage was done. ABC canceled the reboot of Roseanne as a direct result of this racism. Two of the most odd components to the controversy was the fact that 10 days before the tweet, Barr publicly announced she was leaving Twitter, aside from keeping an account for DMs, because of what she felt was the rampant anti-Semitism. And while she was certainly correct in that Twitter, like many online platforms, has major issues with people posting anti-Semitic content, it appears that was the only type of hate she had issue with, because she went ahead and attacked both Muslims and black people in the same sentence, and made a personal attack on a public servant who had done nothing to Roseanne. The Fallout Barr's huge misstep and subsequent cancellation of the Roseanne reboot was certainly a sad situation. Not only did it tarnish her reputation, but it also meant hundreds of people who were working for the show lost their jobs. Fortunately, ABC decided they could pull off the show without its titular star. They rebooted it without Roseanne's character, but with the rest of the cast intact. And it's proven to be the right call. The Connors, which is the title of the new iteration, is about to start its fifth season. It's been a hit for the network, thanks in part to the success of the old show, but largely due to its quality writing, production, and acting. And thankfully, Roseanne hasn't been able to stir up controversy to affect it. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you think there's any way for Roseanne Barr to atone for her racist tirade and get her career back on track? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.